Well, get this, a record 21 million children get free and reduced lunch at schools across the United States. That includes right here in the Wabash Valley. But with summer underway, many of them will go without the federally funded benefit. Now, a group of community members is stepping up to the plate. News 10's Lindsay Yates has more on the efforts to put food back on the table. Thank you, Lord God, for every person in this circle who um, just offers of themselves. Gathered in prayer. Amen. Amen and called to fill a need. Throughout the school year, kids are guaranteed um, at least two meals a day. So the thought process is what happens to them over the summer months whenever school's not in session. Sometimes those kids are at that house. That's why this group of people give up their lunch hour in hopes of providing for our youngest community members. We have partnered to gather volunteers and resources to be able to provide lunches for youth here in Clay County. Watch over us today as we go out in the rain. Every Monday through Friday, volunteers get together at the First Baptist Church. That's located on South Walnut Street in Brazil. There, they spend the afternoon preparing lunch for more than 200 area children. Some of these kids are my students. To me, it was very important to come out and to serve. Hi! It's one of two initiatives sponsored by the Clay County YMCA. Hi, kiddos! Hi, this particular program runs off of donated time and money. As five days a week, the meals are delivered to the homes of those in need. It means a lot. It really does. And those involved say it's enough just knowing the children they serve will not go without. You know, I think that God just calls us to be his hands and feet. And just protect us and bring us back safely tomorrow that we could continue to do your work. In Clay County with photojournalist John Tim, Lindsay Yates, <laughs> News 10. Well, the lunches will be served through the first week of August. To find out how you can donate or to volunteer, head over to our website, WTHITV.com.